Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Sarah and this is a product review and unboxing for the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. They are supposed to be watercolor markers and it says they're dual tipped and blendable with water. I love testing watercolor products. I find that most of them do not live up to their reputation and I hope that people watch this channel and watch some of my reviews and are able to pick and choose the products that they prefer rather than just going out like I have and kind of buying whatever watercolor product they can see and testing it um, just to see if it works. So this is the primary set. They come in four sets. There's primary, there is nature, there's floral, and there's essentials. Um, I noticed on the floral set, a lot of them are more of a neon color. That's not really what I was going for. Um, that's the set, that is the set that I thought I would like. Um, but I ended up going with the primary one because it has more of the basic colors in it anyway. So this is a review for this product. I've not opened these. I've not tried them yet. Um, so right off, I can say the packaging very nice packaging, uh, by the way. And these are a product from Crafter's Companion. And it's the Spectrum Nor line. Um, easy to open package. Easy to get them out. It's not like struggling with some of the plastic products that are out now. And you're like getting scissors out and a knife and trying to cut it open. And then you slice your hand open in the process. Um, so here is... The colors available in this set, right there. And the colors available are um, Scarlet, Aquamarine, Crimson, Teal, Burgundy, Navy, Orange, purple, gold, it's, I want to specify this is not a metallic gold at all, this is a gold yellow orange color, uh, magenta, yellow, and red violet. So those are the colors available in this particular set. This is again the primary set. So I'm going to swipe these off to the side and tell you a bit about these markers themselves, they are um, flat on a lot of the sides, um, which is a very nice feature. You can throw them down. They're not going to roll off your page. Um, that's very nice. As I was setting them up here, I noticed they weren't going anywhere. Um, a, another feature that they have is on the end is not only the color that they are, but I don't know if my camera will zoom in on this or not. Anyway, it has written the color that they are on the color that they are, <laughs> um, which is a very nice feature. They have the paint tipped end right there. Oops, drop my lid. And they have the fine point right there. So I'd like to show you really quick um, what the difference is. There's the fine point. That's several lines with the fine point. And this is side of the brush tip and this is top of the brush tip. And you can always change what you're doing and give thinner lines, starting from a thicker line down here to a not-so-thick line as you're picking it up. Um, that's one thing I do like about the brush tip markers. So what I'm going to do is give you a rundown on the colors, and then we're going to test them. So let's check these out. This is the Scarlet. This is Aquamarine. This is Crimson. Wrong tip. 
this is teal and you can see that they are not exactly the same color as the tips and um, that's one thing I've noticed with all of the Spectrum Noir products um, the color that it says that it is on the tip is not exactly the color that it is inside um, I wish they would fix that this is burgundy let me do this one up here this is navy that's a very dark navy this is orange This is purple. Gold. Magenta. Yellow. And lastly, I knew I was going to get the wrong side. Red violet. Um, love that color. So, one thing I have noticed with a lot of watercolor products is that after it dries on the page, it will not do anything else. It becomes permanent. <clears throat> to me, any watercolor product should be fluid when you add water, dry or wet. Um, that's just my thoughts on the matter um, doesn't mean that it's right it just means that's my thoughts um, so that is the scarlet the first one there and we're just going to test it here with some water so it does get really light and I am using quite a bit of water to get all that up off the page. And I'll bring it out like this to show you the wash. Um, you can see exactly where I put down on the page. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to see if I didn't wait for it to dry, if that would be different. And again, this is on regular watercolor paper. There's no gesso on here. There's nothing special. Okay, so that is working a bit better. That's working a lot better, actually. Um, you can't even see where I put down on the page. Um, and I'm spreading this out pretty far, um, just to give you an idea of how light it gets. Um, as I'm looking on the camera here, you can see a bit right here where I laid down the mark. Um, but as I'm looking with my eyes at the paper, I can't notice that at all. Um, it's like it's not even there. So um, there is definitely a big difference between letting it dry and using it right away. So I'm going to go ahead and test all the other ones that are on here. Um, I noticed that it does stain your water brush really badly. <laughs> it takes a minute for it to all get out of your water brush. So you'll be using lots of water with this product if you're using a water brush. And some of these aren't even spreading. Um, I know a lot of people use these for stamps. These would be great for stamps. Um, to me, this is not a artist quality product. One, because if it dries on your paper, like all watercolor, regular watercolor, when you add water again, it should become fluid again. Period. That's just how watercolor works. Um, so I find it really hard to believe that they could market these as watercolor markers when it dries, you're still able to see where the mark is. It doesn't all go away. It, that just doesn't make sense to me. This color is a very pretty color. This one's the navy. So I think if you were working with stamps or you're working with cards or you're doing stuff like that, this would be a great product for you. Um, if you are doing mixed media, 
um, stuff, this would be a great product for you. If you are an artist trying to get a realistic watercolor view of a flower or of a landscape or whatever, this is not the product for you. Um, I do have the Spectrum Noir uh, colored pencils. I have the whole set, the whole line, all 120. I feel very conflicted about their pencils as well, and I'll do a separate review for those. But I just want to tell you that all of the Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir products are for those intermediate artists who are going from basic art supplies to high quality art supplies and they're in that middle area um, where they can't exactly afford the real expensive stuff that's a great alternative spectrum nor is a great alternative for those people as for professional artists i wouldn't go there with these products so again these are the spectrum nor aqua markers this is the primary set 12 Right there. Um, this package was $29.99 at Hobby Lobby. And um, you can use your 40% off coupon that you get every week. If you don't have their app, download it. It's on there. You can use it multiple times in a day. You can use it multiple times in the week. You can use it multiple times in an hour if you wanted to. You just have to go back in to use the coupon again. So um, this is a good set for beginners or intermediate artists. Um, I would not recommend this for professional artists. Thank you for watching. Happy coloring and happy artistic creativity.